friends, Gia here. It's Debt Free Friday. If you're new to my channel, I post a financial related video every Friday and I post several different mommy and working mommy related videos and organizing videos throughout the week. So if you, have, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you can get a notification each time I post a new video. tagged by the channel living with the edges to post five things that I'm able to do or that we as a family are able to do because we're debt free so let's jump right in the first thing that I'm gonna say uh, that I'm probably the most proud of is the fact that because we're debt free we we're able to send our daughter Zara to a really really great preschool I mean it's like I fell in love with this school from the minute I walked in I love it and it's very expensive the tuition is very high and you know with Ava still in daycare it, it's pretty expensive uh, for us so because we're debt-free we're able to afford this tuition and this is like I feel like a gift that we're able to bless our children with to be able to afford to send them to uh, really great schools so that's probably the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of things we're able to do because we're debt-free the second thing we're able to do um, we own a rental home it was a home that my husband owned uh, before we got married and we rented out and he bought it before the turn of the economy back in 2008 and um, unfortunately it was really really upside down and so last year we were able to pay an extra thirty thousand dollars down on the mortgage just to bring us at an equal uh, playing field for that so that when we're able to sell the house we don't have to like come out of the pocket or just go in debt just to sell the house so um, I was really really happy about that last year that was like one of the first big major things that was on our list to take care of um, the minute we became debt free now there was a piece of me that just wanted to take that thirty thousand dollars and finish our basement or fix up the yard but you know, once you adapt this lifestyle, when it comes to making financial decisions, important life-changing financial decisions, it's like you know what the right decision is right away. You know, that would have been so irresponsible for us to just take that cash and, you know, fix up the basement. Um, we want to make sure that we don't put ourselves in harm's way in the future. So that was the best deal for that. That was the best uh, idea to do with all that extra cash is just pay down on that house so that you know we won't be so upside down the third thing we're able to do is we are able to cash flow everything like we have a car fund our our, our three biggest things that we're going to be cash flowing within the next couple of years are is a car fund um, finishing the basement and fixing up the yard we're cash flowing all of those I mean we cash flow everything but just to be able to cash flow such a big expense you know it just feels so great you know of course it's not fun letting go of all that cash because you start almost becoming a cash hoarder but the fact that we are going to be financially responsible and cash flow those things if it's something that you want if you can't pay cash for it then you can't afford it I have fully adapted that lifestyle my husband and I both so we're cash flowing all those big major projects for our home and for our car and that's something that we definitely wouldn't have been able to do if we were still in debt the fourth thing that we were able to do because we're debt free is um, we refinanced our home to a 15-year mortgage and I actually did this because of the way that we kind of went about planning to get out of our debt and if you're interested we do a zero based budget you can click this box here and I will also insert a card but because we planned it out to the T I knew exactly what month we were going to be debt free and so earlier that year I just decided to go ahead and refinance our home to a 15 year mortgage um, because we were originally in a 30 year mortgage and that's something that we definitely wouldn't have been able to afford to do if we still had all of that debt um, and if you're interested in about our debt free journey and how much debt we paid off and how long it took us and everything you can click this box here and I'll also insert a card but we definitely wouldn't have been able to do a 15 year mortgage and I think that's important to think about once you become debt free um, even if you don't want to refinance into a 15 year mortgage put yourself on a payment plan yourself that will make you pay your house off in 15 years because you know 30 years is a long time to be paying for a house and the fifth thing that I was able to do uh, that we were able to do because we're debt free is I was able to take full maternity leave with when I was pregnant with Ava when I had Ava as a baby now when I had Zara I was working for an awesome company who paid for your full maternity leave you got full pay for the full 12 weeks 
um, and uh, for those of the for those of you that don't know you know you only get like six weeks off if you have a vaginal birth and if you have a c-section you only get eight weeks off and that's with short-term disability um, so you're only getting a percentage of your pay only a percentage of your pay so um, when I got ready to have Ava we were able I was able to stay home for the full 12 weeks with no problems because we saved for that we cash flowed that and just saved um, so that I was able to do that, which is a huge blessing. So those are just some of the things we were able to do. I mean, it is, it's amazing being debt free and I hope to inspire someone to just keep going. If you're in the midst of trying to pay off your debt, keep going because it, it is, it is endless the amounts of things that you're able to do because you know you know you never realize how debt holds you down and holds you back from accomplishing things. Um, throughout your life so i hope to inspire someone thank you guys so much for watching commenting and subscribing let me know if you are debt free what is the one thing that you're so happy about that you're able to do because you're debt free um leave a comment down below and let me know and or if you are in the midst of becoming debt free what is the one thing you're looking forward to the most to do um, when you become debt free. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out my previous video here. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that button down below and check me out on all my social media platforms, all listed down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.